Here's a pretty common scenario. We're trying to build a web application that displays data from the back end automatically in the browser. I'm in a Spring Boot application and I'm using VOD and Flow. I have a view here mapped to the entity route. And what I want to do is I want to display quotes generated by this flux here. So I have a flux that's generating a new quote every two seconds. And my initial try here was to just call get quotes and subscribe to it, adding a new paragraph anytime a new quote gets generated. But that doesn't work. And the reason is that normally a browser will only update based on a response that it gets from the server. In this case, it's not the browser that's making the request, but it's the backend that's generating these quotes. So we need to change the way we communicate between the browser and the server. One way of doing this is using a WebSocket, and that's something that Vaughn Flow makes really easy. So in our Spring Boot application, we're going to add a push annotation, and then we need to update the UI code to let Vaughn know that we're updating the UI state from a background thread. So we're going to capture the UI into a variable. I'm going to call UI.getCurrent here, save that to a variable. And then here within my subscription, I'm going to call UI.Access. And this takes in a callback like this. And we're going to move our code inside of this access like this. And we'll save this and build the application. And hopefully if everything goes well, what we should be able to see is that we have these quotes now coming in every two seconds. And because we're wrapping our ad here in this UI access, Vaughn knows that there's a change that it needs to send over to the client, and it uses that WebSocket to do it. So there you have it, an easy way to push data from your server to the client.